you can manually update Nest plugins in two ways, either through the user interface or via command line interface. Let me show you how you can do it via user interface. If you log in in Genesis Professional on your IP address and port 8834 and log in as an admin with your credentials, you'll go to settings and under settings, you click on software update. You'll have three options, either update all components, which will update all the components of Nessus software. However, if you only want to update the plugins, you can do so by specifying update plugins and specifying the frequency, how often you want the plugins to be updated. However, if you want to be disable that, you can certainly do so in case you want to manually do so. Now, there's also an option to do manual software update. Again, it'll force. I can click on continue and run an update, or I can specify, again, this will update everything. And update plugins will do the same thing, which I just show right here. Or I can also upload uh, plugins which are offline. Now, this is for an option in case I did not have, uh, do not have internet access. So that's the second way. When you're doing a CLI interface update, a command line interface update, you can do it two ways. One is if you are online, and in that case, I would simply go to my folder in my Nessus server. For each operating system, the path will be different, but the commands are pretty much the same. So I am right now in Ness up Nessus SBIN on a Linux server. If it was a Mac OS, it would be under library Nessus run SBIN. And for Windows, it would be under program files, tenable Nessus, Nessus CLI. I can run Nessus CLI update it'll go with the default configurations on nss and update those components but if i were to do all it'll update everything plugins and the software for nessus however if i want only the plugins to be updated i can simply say plugins only second option on the command line when you are not connected to the internet in that case, you'll have to go to the computer that has internet access and download your plugins. Here is the URL. It's plugins.nessus.org slash v2 for 6.3 or later. Now, if I go to the same thing, command line interface and enter an SSCLI fed challenge, it should generate a challenge for me, which can copy and paste right here. With an activation code, when I click submit, I should be able to download the plugins in a tar format, which I can go back it through either by Nessus CLI right here and upload that file, or I can certainly do through the command line as well. In order to run it on a command line, you'll simply copy the file under your op Nessus Etsy Nessus folder, which is go to CD op Nessus and I'll copy those files, those database files, the tar files for the plugins are like a .db files, and you can just simply copy them right here. Now for different operating systems, there are different paths. So these are the folders, but if you're running via FreeBSD or Mac OS or Windows. So these are the paths you will copy your plugins.